Big up the London Massive, yeah. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're going to have to listen to OG Loke's awful, awful rapping. Let's look at the 10 most annoying GTA characters. Before we continue, we publish content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of our latest videos. Fabian Le Rouge. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whore monitoring ass wipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yeah, she's very centered. We've come a long way as humans to be accepting and tolerant of all types of people. 50 years ago, someone who may have been considered off-putting or odd is now quite charming as we allow people to more freely express themselves. Someone being their authentic self has become an endearing quality. But we can all agree, Fabian is a massive tit. Too long. Back into my palace. Back, what? back, back. Yes, there you go. Oh, oh, mm, oh, oh, oh! What? Hey, enough of that shit. Ah! This character is not only depicted as a pervert exploiting his position, but also exhibits a persistent, grating sense of entitlement as showcased in the mission, Reuniting the Family. He stands out as one of the most irritating characters in all of GTA. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What, what, what are you doing? Sasanta and KDJ Moody Man. This a do. This a do. I could do my thing in here. Where's our partner at? I don't know. We should make ourselves at home, baby. <laughs> Come here, girl. Sasanta and KDJ Moody Man in GTA 5 exude annoyance through their incessant demands and pretentious attitudes. Sasanta's arrogance is palpable, while KDJ Moody Man's self importance and snobbish demeanor grate on the player's nerves. Their behaviors amplified by their constant whining and entitled attitudes make them thoroughly irritating characters. Interacting with them often feels like a chore as their presence serves to highlight the more frustrating aspects of the game's world, adding layers of annoyance to the player's experience. They aren't even worth visiting if you're bored in GTA Online. They just suck. Wasting my motherfucking time. We'll see you back here. Don't be too quick. Baby girl got some body work to do. Uh, oh, do I now? <laughs> oh, baby, bring that too. <laughs> OG Loke. Look at this fool, man. Perk like he banging. Think he hard. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, I tell you. I know that fool can't be serious. Hey, what's happening with you, Jeffrey? Hey, man, it's OG Loke, homie. OG Loke. A skilled voice actor can either endear a character to players or conversely provoke disdain. Jeffrey OG Loke Cross falls into the latter category designed to be despised. His cringeworthy attempt at portraying a gangster coupled with his subpar rap skills and gratingly high-pitched voice creates a character that irritates players to no end. OG Loke epitomizes one of GTA's most disliked characters, his portrayal serving as a testament to just how much a voice can impact a player's perception of a character. I, for one, may have said, for the love of God, shut up about 23 times during my playthrough. Yeah, 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 it's your man OG Loke in the house, baby. Tonya. Everybody on the block knows you gone on Vine Wood and shit. Well, shit, if going Vine Wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992, then shit, I'm guilty as charged. An annoying character can be a blend of many things. Sometimes they are annoying because they are attached to an annoying mission like Zero in San Andreas. Sometimes they're annoying because they themselves have an annoying personality like OG Loke in San Andreas. And sometimes they combine these two elements into a double throat punch of annoyance that makes you throw your head back every time they appear. Like Tonya in GTA 5. Tonya Wiggins drags you on a pointless fetch quest that requires you to sit there and listen to her delusional rambling, bad attitude, and sexual advances. Gross. Oh, you really fighting the feminist cause there, ain't you, Tiny? Like your aunt, you mean? I saw her fake jogging the other day, chanting some whacked out nonsense. That is crazy. Agent 14. So, uh, Mr. Crest said we should talk about uh, work. But uh, not here. Annoyance doesn't always have to be overt and obvious. Sometimes it's just annoying doing a mission for someone because they offer nothing of interest or quality. Enter Agent 14. Dry, sarcastic, dare I say boring. Agent 14 is some folks' worst nightmare. 
That being said, we'd be doing ourselves a disservice by not acknowledging that he may be the only person on this list that has a community aggressively fighting to convince us he isn't annoying. There are countless Agent 14 appreciation threads and videos, some people calling him the best character in the whole series. <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe now's not the best time to discuss irony. God, what is wrong with me? You know, I'm usually such a high achiever, you know, for a criminal. Isaiah Friedlander. And what about you? What about me? Hey. I don't have the advantages that kid has. Isn't it expected for a therapist to aid their patients? Dr. Friedlander, Michael's seemingly disinterested therapist in GTA 5, fails to address Michael's issues effectively. He appears uninvolved and offers little assistance in Michael's improvement. Adding insult to injury, he profits from Michael's problems by selling a book about them. This portrayal of a therapist who neglects his duty and exploits his patient's struggles adds a layer of cynicism to the game's depiction of mental health professionals. Even if he didn't profit from Michael, he'd still be considered a massive knob. That's how annoying he is. I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this sh is working for me. Hmm. Well, a sense of overriding futility is a vital part of the process. English Dave. Oh yes, this is a bit of me. Hello, hello. English Dave in GTA Online can be perceived as annoying due to his incessant calls and constant requests for assistance. And I say perceived as a kindness because the perception isn't exactly varied. His persistent interruptions during gameplay disrupt the flow and immersion, often coming off as overly intrusive. Additionally, his exaggerated British stereotype persona, coupled with his repetitive dialogue, can grate on players' nerves over time. While initially providing useful services such as nightclub management, his annoyance and irritation becomes an off-putting constant in your interactions with him and make you want to run him down with a train. Big up the London Massive, yes. Catalina. <laughs> what the f*** do you want? Nothing. I'm looking for a friend of mine's cousin, Come on, Mexican bitch. guy. He ain't here. You? But Cesar said you was a real man. Catalina was first introduced in GTA 3, and even in this game, she didn't exactly endear herself to the players. Her piercing voice and aggressive nature made dialogue with her insufferable, and in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the insufferable knob was turned up to 11. The missions associated with her, her constant berating both in person and over the phone, and her unpredictable nature made her an absolute pain to be around. Once she had moved on and allowed us to spread our wings and fly peacefully, we were much, much happier. Just, just don't shoot me, please! Roman Bellick. I, for one, feel a little dirty writing this entry because I love Roman Bellick with all my heart and soul, but it's undeniable that a massive chunk of the internet could do without his constant phone calls, screaming voice, and childlike behavior. From the first moment he arrives to pick you up in Liberty City, it's clear that his voice is going to become one that gets on your nerves, and his constant requests to hang out while you're just trying to enjoy the game become so annoyingly repetitive that it spawned one of the most famous memes in GTA history. Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling. Roman, I love you, but shut the f*** up. I got the base cockroaches, I got the base birds. <laughs> Steve Haynes. Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. A corrupt and arrogant FBI officer, Steve Haynes emerges as one of GTA 5's most detestable characters. While reminiscent of Officer Tenpenny from GTA San Andreas, he lacks the same level of intimidation and charisma. Steve's narcissism, short temper, and impatience make him profoundly irritating, often provoking frustration from players and characters within GTA 5. Nevertheless, Rockstar deserves credit for crafting such effective villains, showcasing their expertise in creating characters who evoke strong, negative emotions from the player base. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Mojo Plays and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos.